I am back with another episode of Amnesia. So, I'm guessing we have to make a potion because it's like asking me for different potions. Four different potions. Oh, wait, that's oil. Maybe we can actually just. Oops. Maybe we can just drag these in. That's not gonna work. Well, at least we have some more oil, so now we can add it to it. Oh, cash. not to waste my lamp this time because it's on really low power. I need some more oil. Solo. <laughs> okay, fine. I won't go to the cellar. Finally. Go from the lab to the cellar. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path of the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Ah, so I'm guessing once we make the powerful acid, we can dissolve the liquid, but we need potions, or whatever, not potions, I mean, acid -y stuff, but obviously this is a realistic game, not potions. What was that? That was a doorway over it. This place looks weird. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. 
The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Okay, great. The sign tells me I wasn't successful. That's a dead body or something. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave- I was trapped! Oops, I didn't mean to cut that last bit out. Something about I was trapped. I wonder what he was trapped in. Well, obviously, he's not trapped anymore because I'm him and I'm moving. Sorry, I didn't mean to break your lamp, evil demon.
I'm, I mean Vegas, Vegas. Sorry. And that is the end of the episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.